We're out here in Frisco, Texas, in a beautiful sunny day. Um, we're outside doing a Sunbright TV mount, as well as two off-wall outdoor speakers. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get it started and show you what we got going. So we got our Sunbright outdoor rated TV here. This is a 4K 55 inch model. As you can see, there's the specific model numbers. This is the Veranda series, guys, and this is a shade TV. It does require that you keep it in the shade, like this situation here. We do sell the Signature as well as the Pro series, should you need it out in partial sun or full sun. Now, um, Sam's gonna explain to you how we're going to be mounting this as well as how we're gonna install power. Alrighty, so we have this pre-existing mount that we're gonna try and use, reconfigure the arms here. Uh, our power outlet is coming through this wall. We actually have a uh, switch on the other side we'll show you in a moment. Uh, but we're coming out through here, putting our uh, GFI uh, outdoor rated plug right here off of the brick, uh, which I have right here. Here is the box as well as the outlet. And then we're gonna put the in-use rated cover on it. That way it can be plugged in and it keep everything up to city code. All right, so we're now on the other side of the wall from our Sunbright TV. We're going to be drilling from the outside in, cutting a single gang hole here. That way we can find our line and attach ourselves right here. We have high voltage power coming through this light switch and we're gonna put it in post light switch. That way we're not switching it on and off every time we're trying to control our uh, hallway lights. Alrighty, so in addition to the Sunbright TV, we have our episode all weather off wall speakers. There's your exact model and information. Six inch woofers. Yeah. All right, and these are going on the ceiling in the pre wired locations, as you can see there. <laughs> Thank you. And those are terminating back inside. We're connecting those two speakers to the pre wired locations back which terminate behind here. The seven channel amp, we're using the last remaining two that we didn't use in this room, uh, zone two essentially, for the patio. Another lovely job by Dream Media. So basically, uh, guys, this gives you the ability to independently play your music separate on the patio from the living room and also keep it budget friendly mm -hmm. because you don't have to get a separate two channel amp. You can utilize those spare two channels off your seven channels for um, the living room uh, that weren't used in the living room for the patio. This is very common in the North Dallas area. They'll have all the distributed audio terminating right here in the living room and you can connect your amps in this location. Now, there is also a volume control here at the door that you're gonna have to jump out. There's two ways to go about it. You can either have the volume control in use right here where you actually do have a rotary style or a uh, whichever form of uh, volume control that you'd like you can put one in or you can just bypass it completely Gracie's popping our plate off like and we'll show you exactly what we're talking about so it's yeah so it's bypassed. already been bypassed basically what that means is you have four wire coming from the home run location and then two wire going out to each of the two areas and those two wires are just being spliced into the four wire and basically you take your black to green and your white to red and then red to red and black to black and connect it back to your spare two channels on that seven channel amp that's terminating in the living room so we are going to go ahead and get this party started mm. <laughs> All right, folks, here's why you buy an all-weather TV for your patio. You might not think it'd be worth it, but this has a panel for pretty much everything you're gonna be plugging in. And it's got these heavy screws and also really thick padding. It keeps it watertight. And there's all your connections on the inside, right? This basically keeps out all your moisture and all uh, your bugs and uh, basically all the elements. Well, and uh, the bezel here, you can see how robust that is. This is uh, a serious piece of equipment. It's uh, gonna last you a while. And then you have your power cable here. Looks pretty standard, right? But right here where it connects in, you got a nice watertight seal. Look at that. 
nothing's happening to that right there. Just straight there. Hold on. You always gonna make sure it's straight. Uh, no. Which way? You gotta go, yeah. There you go. That's good? Yep. All right, make sure you get your speaker the direction you want it. I like mine this way. Only reason being is because there's a little logo for that episode. You fine? I just want it. It's not sitting in there. Alright. Let me know I'm at a good angle, Sam. What are we trying to hit? Probably they probably want to listen to the pull, I'd say, yeah? Yeah. Lower. Lower? A little bit. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. Looks good. Straight? Yeah, crazy. Sure the, back. the back. This is where the wire comes in to that little channel. And we're under a patio here, as you can see, so it's never going to get any direct rainfall. So we are up here by our TV mount and we have calculated, we've been doing some measurements over from the door to the wall. We've calculated that this point right here is directly above our light switch on the inside. That's where we're getting our power for our GFI uh, that will sit on top of the brick. So Grayson's on the other side putting something down so we can catch all of our debris and uh, I'm about to drill through this. All right, I don't know if you can see that. Here we go. There's our hole. Hello in there. All right. Let me show you that on the other side. And there we are. As you can see here, we've busted through the wall and that is directly in line with our plate. So now what we're going to do is cut a single gang hole here so we can fish our cable back and forth in between the plate and our outlet outside and we'll cover that with a plate. Let's show you how that's done. Alrighty, so I've got my points marked out for my single gang hole. Now I'm going to cut it. There we are. So we can see here we got our hole of freedom. All right, so we have now uh, shot our fish rod up from our box to our single gang hole. Uh, we are now about to run the Romex through. And once we get that, we're gonna shove it through the wall out into our exterior uh, GFI box. All right, as you can see here above my head, <laughs> we got our box attached to the wall. Now we're gonna strip our wires back and uh, mount our GFI on there. Alrighty, so I've attached my wires, black to gold, silver to white, and green to ground. Uh, they're all solid in there. Uh, I've then attached it to the outdoor box, and now I'm going to put the uh, plate over top of it that's going to keep it weatherproof. All right, as you can see, we got the power back on. There's your plate. Light switch is working just fine. There's the uh, newly installed pass-through. No one's the wiser. Now, let's go and make sure that everything was wired correctly. And we're getting proper signal. There's definitely not copyright music out here or anything. So don't even think about it. All righty, look at that. Greens, baby. 
Can you even see that? There it is. Green. Good to go. All right, as you can see here, Grayson siliconing the edges of the box in between the uh, brick wall and the uh, bottom side of the box. Just for that extra bit of weatherproofing, we do want to make sure that this is as safe as possible. Uh, I don't want to come back. Exactly. We, we don't want to return here and we want the customer to be nice and happy and uh, not have any problems. So uh, going that extra mile. All right, we got the TV up there. It's looking good. Oh, there's our uh, power behind it. Yeah, looking nice. Mount, we got our cable all hooked to the uh, mount. Cable management's on point. There we go, very nice. I think the customers are gonna be very pleased once we level it. All right, Grayson, tell me what's going on here. Well, customer only had a five channel amplifier. Uh, she told us she had a seven earlier. We should have checked. But now we can't power the patio speakers as a zone too. So we came up with a solution. You know, Dream Media has everything on the truck. <laughs> uh, we're going to put in a Sonos amp for her. And this is going to be better in the long run. She can also get a Sonos Connect mm -hmm. for this room. That way she can have the patio and the living room on the Sonos app as well. Go on wireless, baby. This is just a two channel amp, 125 watts a channel. It's a new version of the Sonos Connect Amp. Twice as powerful, and it has arc on the back as well, which we will be using today. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna sound nice. We're gonna get that hooked up for the uh, customer and uh, get going. Yep. Alrighty guys, we got everything completed out here. I'm just gonna give you a look at what the work we've done today and uh, give you a little rundown. So, we've mounted our two outdoor speakers. Uh, they sound really good. The customer wanted them pointed towards the pool because that's mainly when they're going to be using them is when they're out here lounging and uh, having fun. So uh, they sound really good and inside we have them connected to their brand new Sonos amplifier. So we got the new Sonos amp. Uh, we originally were going to connect it to this uh, Yamaha right here but uh, it turns out it was only a five channel not a, a seven channel and uh, they're already using all five channels for the this living room so we uh, got them a Sonos amp and they're now connected through the app and they love it the other thing we got done today is this Sunbright television now uh, this is on the customers uh, pre-existing mount but I think it looks pretty good Got the Dream Media logo up there, looking sharp, looking sharp. Uh, yeah, customer loves the angle, loves uh, where it's at, and uh, really appreciates the uh, up-to-code, waterproof, outdoor-rated power. So that's kind of an idea of what we've done today. If you would like to purchase any of these products, such as a Sunbright Outdoor TV or a Sonos amplifier, Give us a shout. Uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give us a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below. Uh, I've been Sam with Dream Media and thanks for watching.